Hello Capricorn, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Oh, Twin Flame was going to fall out. Not, this one's facing the wrong way. Time apart. Some of you are not together right now with your Twin Flame. I'm going to take those two. Okay, and that was half the deck. Can't take that. Finances and healing. Some of you will be healing your finances. Maybe you'll be making more money. Something's coming in to kind of... I'm getting some of you may need to... Put more money into your savings account or pay off some credit card bills that may be happening i'm getting in the next two months some extra money will be coming in what else for capricorn okay thank you i'm gonna take those two and these two abundance obstacle yeah there's been an obstacle to your money or something but i feel like that's going to change and support decisions or decision for support more support something's coming in yes, you guys have quite a few messages here but um I feel like the way they just came out, it's important to take them. You may decide to support someone. Maybe someone else is having so many obstacles or problems, and maybe you will uh, reach out and give them a hand. Maybe they'll do that to you. Overall energy is the moon. How someone is feeling the Seven of Cups. How they may view the situation, the Four of Swords. What's hidden is the Knight of Coins, and the outcome is the Page of Wands. Under the deck is the Seven of Wands. Some of you may be dealing with someone who doesn't like to be helped. Maybe they don't ask for help. They don't like to accept help. Maybe that's you, Capricorn. You guys are usually pretty good about that. So, because in the hip, but it may be you, because in the hidden is the Knight of Coins, is an offer, is something coming in for you. So, what is this moon energy? The Two of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Page of Coin. Now, there could be someone who's thinking about you right now. The Page of Coin um, reminds you of someone looking at pictures, like I always say, longing. So, it's maybe a fire sign. Okay, this is also either someone with deep emotions, maybe a Pisces, but usually this is something hidden with the moon energy, is overall energy. So if some of you have a twin flame and you're apart from your twin flame, maybe this is them. Maybe they're thinking about you. Maybe they're thinking about coming to see you with the two of wands, doing something different. I feel like, especially seven of cups, because this is like a card to me, like well, what's going on? What are they doing? I wonder how they're feeling. And this is in their energy. So you could have someone right now who's been thinking about you. Maybe someone's been popping in your mind suddenly and you've been thinking about them. Well, it could be that they're thinking about you right now, Capricorn. What is the Seven of Cups? What is the Seven of Cups? Eight of Swords, the Seven of Coins, and the King, I'm sorry, the Emperor. Now, this might be someone who is having blocks to their abundance also. Because you know what? As I was shuffling, I was looking at the cards and I was thinking there may be someone who needs to I'm getting apologize or something make a decision to come talk to you or see you because there's blocks to their abundance you know, the spirit the spirit is blocking their money or something things aren't moving forward they're kind of waiting and it may be an Aries or someone like you might consider them an emperor and they're wondering what's going on I just feel like somebody is going through a time right now where things aren't going well for them and they're also now you're popping in their mind. I don't know if you've spoken to this person in a little while. If this is a twin flame or a soulmate. How they view the connection, the four of swords, the eight of cups, the page of cups, and the nine of swords. See, there's someone who wants to reach out. There's a decision here to reach out, to take action. There's a magician, but someone is worried about it. Why are they so worried? Okay, but they're hermiting. They're afraid to reach out. Looks like they're going to, though. So there is an offer coming in, Capricorn. This person isn't really sure maybe how to do it or when to do it. It could be also a timeline, five days, five weeks. There is like an opportunity or an offer here. It's like someone's having problems, and the answer either stems with you. Lovers is under here. And it may be that, again spirit is kind of orchestrating this bringing the two of you back together maybe this person owes you an apology capricorn or they they need to give you something or offer you something or support you in some way or maybe they you know owe you money um something like that but you are getting communication and it is showing i mean it can be any sign it is showing it as a fire sign or a really good energy i mean you know, uh, good messages communication i feel like it's somebody who does have feelings for you is, there is an attraction here. I don't know how, exactly how you feel about them at this point, Capricorn, but we have the Seven of Swords, Justice, 
and the six of swords. See, I get it as somebody who spirit's not going to let them get away with something. Because that's what I'm getting up here this whole time. Like this person trying to, I hear dodge a bullet, but I'm getting like they, they owe you something, Capricorn. They, they need to fix something. They need to apologize. And normally they wouldn't, but it's kind of like it's been a while and now they're realizing that this issue stems back to something that happened between the two of you. Does that make sense? Normally I think maybe they would try to get away with it and maybe they still will, but I don't think spirit's going to let them. That's what I'm kind of getting here with your reading. So I don't know if that makes sense to someone. If there's somebody in your past who... Uh, yeah, see, there's a Knight of Coins. See, they are coming toward you with the Knight of Coins because it's right here. It's in your hidden position. What's coming in is some sort of offer, communication, idea, something along that line. There may be a new cycle started because of this. What is the Page of Coins? Go back up here really quick. Two of Swords. See, Forces. I feel like this person would rather do nothing, to be honest. I think that's why the Seven of Swords is here. I feel like they don't want to be humble. They don't want to admit the truth. They don't want to have to come back in. But I feel like their, their abundance is being blocked. And that's their part of their, um, I don't say punishment, but it's what's going on here for this person. They were supposed to support you or they need to or something like that. They made a decision not to support you. Something is coming back around to balance out Capricorn in some way. I don't know how well it's going to work out. I mean, that's going to be a whole nother cycle, whole nother reading. But what is this three of coins? Judgment brings something back to life or you're going to have to make a decision. Whoa. Did you see that? The ten of cups and the ten of coins. So I, this is obviously someone that there were feelings here. So again, twin flame, soulmate, um, possibly a reconciliation for some of you. It seems kind of like far-fetched though from the cards here it's almost like i don't see the cards i'd want to see i want to see two of cups ace of cups other things here it's kind of like they're coming back in so be careful of this person though because this is telling me that they're trying to maybe get around the spiritual lesson i don't think they're going to pull one over on you capricorn you guys are very smart and you're, i think you're going to see through this person but just you know um how would it be on your toes i guess you would say Wheel of Fortune, one more. Yeah, okay. Going back to the Page of Wands, which is this energy, which is obviously fun energy, flirty energy. I do have the Two of Cups under here, though. We have you. Messages coming in. Someone you haven't spoken to in a while. There is going to be an offer. Again, I see the Nine of Wands tells me that you may not totally trust this person. You know, you know them well enough. They did something the first time around. Now they're coming back around again. So you're just going to have to be patient and put up with this person. Could be a King of Swords or someone like that. We do have the Knight of Wands here. So again, I don't know if they're going to give you money or they owe you money or they're going to take you out. These two are both going out cards to me, date cards. So you're going to have a decision to make with this person, Capricorn. It's showing right here, but you need to be aware. You need to, I don't know if they've hurt you in the past with the Ten of Swords or... You know, if there's someone else involved, we're getting kind of deep in here. But um, just be aware this person is coming back in. Spirit is kind of making them to come back in. But what they do on the, once they come back in is kind of up to you. I'm going to pull the yes-no cards, I think, right now with this reading. So ask your question, Capricorn. And we're going to pull two and see what Spirit wants to tell you about this person coming back around. They're telling you to follow your heart. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. And think it through. Good answers, I feel. Okay. Under the deck, it does say yes, but it will take a while to be known or to manifest. So let's see what this person would say to you. I feel kind of on the fence with this person. Like I feel like this could go either way. It could go really good. It could go really bad. It's hard to know what's in this person's heart. I feel like there was love here at one point. But I don't know if they're trustworthy. I just have to, I just have to say this, to be honest. Um, but there is a connection here that's pretty strong, pretty deep. What would this person say to Capricorn? They're saying, I do love you. Oh, and I love you unconditionally, okay. I'm becoming a better person. So maybe they are changing. I wish I could share my good news with you. I think they're going to. They're going to share something with you coming up here. And they wish they treated you better. 
That makes sense. I do see someone who may have hurt you in the past, pushed you away, um, did something behind the scenes, something deceptive possibly. Now they're saying they possibly, they look for you everywhere. And under the deck it says just being near you is intoxicating. So it could be a very, very strong like connection, the devil energy, of course, your energy, but very strong connection there. Let me go to this deck as um, guidance. Spirit, what do you want Capricorn to know in this connection with this person? What do you want Capricorn to know? Page of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Death card, the Devil, the Six of Cups, and the Lovers. Okay, Ace of Coin under the deck. There could be some sort of large offer. So again, I do see you guys arguing Five of Wands, but you may put something to rest about the past with the Death card. Um... Obviously, there's a very strong, passionate connection. I feel like the devil, the six of cups, and the lovers. Wanting to go back to the way it was. So there could be something that's cleared up here. With the death card being here. Again, they might be a Scorpio or a Capricorn like you or a Gemini. But what else? Anything else for Capricorn? Two of cups. So there is love here. Wow, ace of cups. And ten of coins. With the nine of coins. Wow, these cards are talking a little different than the other ones. I do see deep love underneath the situation. I feel like it's going to take a little work to get there. But five of wands is not that big of a deal. It, maybe it's a misunderstanding, miscommunication. Something's going to get cleared up. I do see a passionate connection that for some of you could lead uh, back to you know, love and a long-term ten of coin commitment. Because that is what fell out here with the judgment card. Things may actually be very different than what they seem on the surface. I mean, that's how your reading is. It's like on the surface, it looks like mm, this person maybe is not trustworthy and I would be cautious. Then as we get deeper, it's like, well, wait a minute. Maybe there was something that was um, not true. There was a lie. Someone spread a rumor. There was things that you thought or they thought that actually didn't happen. I don't know. You'll have to take it case by case basis, Capricorn. This person comes back. Let me do a card for your soul's journey. Okay, this one's saying stop, drop, and ground. I think Pisces got that one also. I don't know there's some Pisces here in this reading coming up with the moon, the king of... Did we have the king of cups? No, we didn't. We had the death card, a Scorpio, but anyways. What else does Capricorn need to know in closing? Mask. Okay. And there's a mask under the deck. And yes, I have two decks mixed together. So maybe you guys both have masks on. And that's why it's so difficult to understand what everyone is thinking and feeling because no one really is being truthful and honest. So it's interesting because when you start tarot, you do a reading, you see some information, but as you keep going and deeper and deeper, you see more and more and then it becomes more clear. And that's why tarot is so interesting. Twin flames. So your twin flame has a mask on, wedding rings, passion. Oh, it was right here. Heartbroken. Maybe the two of you were going to get married or someone is married. A lot of passion here, a lot of kisses, communication, love call. So I feel like both, okay, so this may sweep you off your feet, Capricorn. This may be very surprising. Uh, you may need to ground when you see this person. So yeah, the main thing I think that's important to know is that both of you are not really showing your true feelings. But I think that's going to be resolved here with the five of wands. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. I hope this helps. I hope you have a great week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.